fourth attempt at recording this video. Anyway, this is Avarice. We are back with another Mass Effect Andromeda. Andromeda, okay, nailed it. Paste it. Anyway, another Mass Effect Andromeda video. And before I begin, I do want to apologize for the lack of uploads. There's been several days of rain, and I can't really record if the rain gets too heavy. I need a pop filter for my mic and blah blah blah. I also want to apologize for the cr the quality of some of the images in the last Mass Effect Andromeda video. Sorry, cracking my knuckles. Basically, I forgot to resize them, and I also forgot to add a background song to make it more cruisy and more casual. Hopefully, we won't forget that this time. Anyway, let's get started. Last time I just introduced what I wanted to do with this little mini-series, basically. I want to talk about what we know of Mass Effect and Comedy so far, and my thoughts on it. And as always, I do appreciate viewer input. So, let us get into it. So, the game is set for a release in March 2017, i.e. the first quarter of 2017. It is to be set in the Helios Cluster of the Andromeda Galaxy, hence Mass Effect Andromeda, and it's going to be set a long time after the events of the original trilogy, if not several hundred years. So, there will be no direct continuation of Shepard's story as a result of this and the fact that the Milky Way and the the Milky Way and the Andromeda galaxies are so far apart. However, nods to your previous adventures will be included along with plenty of fan service for players who want to go seek it out. Take for example Easter eggs and stuff like that. So the main character is named Ryder and can be either male or female, and unlike in previous games, it seems that they are brother and sister. And basically by that I mean you will have a sibling. If you're a male, you will have a, si a female sibling, and vice versa, and that sibling will feature quite predominantly in the game, and you will have many interactions with them. Now, we do know Ryder has a family, and we know of at least the fact that you have a father, and one thing that is of importance is the fact that we have already seen Ryder's father. He was the helmeted N7 operative spotted in the 2014 trailer at E3. So anyway, a bit of exposition on Ryder. He's a path he slash she is a pathfinder, a combat trained but untested explorer leading an expedition into the Helios Cluster, looking for a new home for humanity and maybe even the other races. And all of this ties in with the fact that there are going to be citadel-sized arcs, basically giant space stations, that will lead the expedition. And basically, I will talk about more of that later, but yeah, you will be looking for a new home and you will be expecting basically a vast number of planets to explore, each of which will have one particular biome for that planet according to Bioware. Now if you don't know what I mean by biome, basically a biome is a an area of land, uh, like a, a set type of terrain, for example, deserts in Minecraft or forests or fields or whatnot. Now these areas will be huge and traversable both on foot and via the Mako buggy which will be returning but one thing to note as well is the fact that there will be no space combat and no Mako buggy combat which kind of sucks because the Mako in Mass Effect 1 while I hated the mechanics of it my opinion by the way please don't hate for that but anyway you, there was a big ass mass accelerator cannon on the front so I'm not sure where they're going with that but anyway now the way you're going to be getting around the Helios Cluster is via your ship called the Tempest and it is Normandy-esque by that I mean it is quite similar to the Normandy and naturally you will have crew members who will accompany you on accompany you on various quests and whatnot. Now, unlike in previous games, Ryder starts off as a regular con colonist and becomes a hero in the end versus Shepard who started off as a hero and becomes a legend. Now the available space f present in the Helios Cluster is apparently four times that of Mass Effect 3 and considering it is open world that leaves or well, paves the way for plenty of gameplay and plenty of let's plays as I am sure. 
Now, it is implied that the people aboard the expedition do not know what transpired during the latter stages of Mass Effect 3, as no set ending, i.e. no canon ending, has been specified. Now, there is some, deb some debate whether the expedition starts out before, during, or after the events of Mass Effect 3, as the tagline of the trailer has been, find a new home for humanity, and naturally, it seems the other races. Though it does seem a bit exclusive, as the giant citadel-like ships, called the Arks, are basically leading the expedition. And now, it seems everything will be aboard them. Now, I am going to give my reasoning next time why I think that the start of Andromeda is going to be during a specific point in Mass Effect 3 and why it is not before it or after it, but as I just said, that is for another video. Now, that has been the setting.